So what's up? I'm gonna talk about the uh, chariot of God. That the gods are in the chariots. Even uh, the Israelites, the Hebrews, are in the chariots right now. And we have chariots of Israel. And the UFOs that you guys been seeing is actually chariots. And the Enoch Cree nation wrote the book of Enoch, and the Europeans just translated it to theirs and the indulged in white including the bible was indulged white when it was originally made in hebrew okay so i'm gonna read a verse here and it's called um it's called uh, ezekiel one the vision of the chariot in the third 30th year in the fourth month on the fifth day of the month as i was among the exiles by the river chibar the heavens were opened and they saw visions of God. See, he seen God. On the fifth day of the month, it was the fifth year of exile of King Jehoiakim. The word of the Lord came to the priest Ezekiel, son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river of Chebar, and the hand of the Lord was on there. As I looked, the stormy wind, see, this is where it talks about the, um, the UFO forming as the cloud the ufo forming as a cloud as i looked the stormy wind came out of the north a great cloud with brightness around it and fire flashing forth continually and in the middle of the very uh, uh, middle of the fire something like gleaming gamber see so what he saw was basically a chariot in a in a cloud so the ufos when the clouds come you can know that those are actually the chariots of God. Or when you see a f forming cloud that is like circle like this. That is actually a chariot. And that's the chariot of Israel. And the UFOs that they see that's coming to showing themselves. Those are the chariots of Israel. And it even talks about shape shifting too. Because in the celestial kingdom of heaven. In the celestial kingdoms of heavens. They have animals. Celestial animals, celestial bodies, okay? So when we go to heaven, we'll get celestial heaven, uh, cel uh, celestial body, which means we'll have animal-like figures because we're in a, only in our human form right now. We're only in our human form. But when we go up into the heavens, we'll have a new, brand new body with wings, okay? With wings, a halo, and we'll be as new, we'll be as new, okay? And when we go into the heavens, We'll have like celestial beings that are there, celestial planets inside us too. When uh, if the rapture does actually happen and it is gonna happen, we'll be beamed up by the chariots. That's who's gonna bring us out of here is the chariots when the rapture happens. So in the middle of it, something was like four living creatures. There was there. This was their appearance. They were of human form. See, they were human form and four living creatures. So four animal faces. Each of them each had four faces and each of them had four wings. Their legs were straight and the soles of their feet were like sole of a calf's foot. And they sparkled like burnished bronze. Under the wings on their four sides they had human hands. So we, they had human hands and the... Four had their faces and their wings, thus their wings touched one another. Each of them moved straight ahead without turning as they moved. For the appearance of their faces, the four, four had the four of a human being. The face of a lion on the right side, the face of an ox on the left side, and the face of an eagle. Such were their, fa their faces, their wings spread out above each creature had two wings each of which touched the wings of another while two covered their bodies each moved straight ahead wherever the spirit would go they would they went without turning as they went in the middle of the living creatures there was there was something that looked like a burning coal of fire like torches moving and to fore fro among the living creatures the fire was bright and light lightning issued from the fire the living creatures darted to and fro like a flash of lightning see so around the, the, the chariot there was fire around it with lightning 
with the cloud um, hovering over the cloud. There was a there was a light. There was lots of light with fire and lightning around it with the cloud. You know what I mean? So there's UFOs. There's UFOs right now up there. And we don't see them, but they're there. They're just watching us to see how we do. And those are the chariots of Bisbee of the watchers too. And whatnot. So, I want to talk about this verse because I understand this verse. And it kind of, to me, it kind of seems like God is shape-shifting. You know what I mean? God is like shape-shifting people. So he's going to give us wings. He's going to give us a celestial body. You know what I mean? Our you. This is only our human form. We're like Egyptians too. Like, just like the Egyptians when they had like wings. Like Ra and Seth. No like Seth and um. What, what, what was his name? Seth and um. And Horus. When they had wings and stuff. And they had metal technology. We're going to have that man. We're going to have technology around our body. And wings and everything man. Just like in the olden days, in the Egyptian days, the gates were open, it was way more open where a lot of things were able to come into this world because there was living beings and dead be uh, spiritual beings. And the spiritual beings are on a higher frequency than us. And they can gain power easily because they're a spirit. In the astral world, you can go into astral projection, go out of body for a while, come back, get the power, have... Um, power and you can practice you know what I mean so even in this real world like in the Bible that says they have wings and shit but you can also do the same thing in this real world okay this is what I wanted to talk about anyways this is the end of my video I just wanted to talk about the chariot of the chariot of God the UFO the chariot of God but anyways peace out this is Enoch coming up with a video I hope you like this video subscribe to not really in it for the money I'm just in it for your uh, I'm only trying to get some feedback um, I'm only trying to get some feedback and uh, love and support you know on my journey on my spiritual journey I'll be making some more videos on my spiritual journey and dream journal I'm even gonna be making my dream journal soon and I'm going to be talking about my lucid dreams I had. And my astral projections and stuff like that. But I hope you guys like this video. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Stay woke. Stay blessed. Protect your spirit. You know. Peace.